Hey guys, so it's Chris here. I said I would do it and here it is. A video about how to transfer your WhatsApp history from an, I'm sorry, from an iPhone to an Android because it does not do it automatically. So please subscribe to this channel and like this video because I just saved you so much time. I literally spent a week trying to figure this out and I tried everything. Everything that you've read on the internet if you've already researched this. I tried it and it didn't work. This is the only thing that worked for me. This is not a sponsored video. I just want to save you guys the time and frustration that I went through. Okay, so the first step is to connect your iPhone to your laptop and create a local backup of your iPhone. So in iTunes, make sure this computer is selected when you go to do your backup. It has to be on your computer. And once this step is complete, we'll be finished with iTunes and you can eject your iPhone. Next, open a web browser and go to iPhoneBackupExtractor.com. They have an option for an Apple computer or a Windows, so just choose what you need. Once the download is complete, this window will pop up on an Apple anyway. Just drag the file over, and I didn't need to, so because I already had it on my laptop. Press open when this pops up. And once you open this page, exit out of sign into iCloud. You don't need to do that. Migrate over to your backup and click expert mode. That may take a while, so just be patient. Once it loads, go to application groups, net.whatsapp.whatsapp.shared, chat storage SQ light, and click extract selected file. Click open when this window pops up. You have to wait a few seconds for this to become available, so don't get scared that you have to pay for anything because this is free. So just wait a few seconds and then the continue button will be available to click. And now we are done with that, so you can X out. Go back to your web browser and type in www.android.com slash file transfer slash. And on this page, you must press download again. And similar to the other application, just drag the icon over. Now we're going to go into the phone portion. So go into your phone and go into your Google Play Store and open WhatsApp Migrator and download that. Afterwards, you're going to go to Settings, scroll down to System, and then click About Phone. And then you're going to scroll down to Build Number and click that seven times to turn on Developer Mode. Now this may be different on a Samsung or an LG. Then you're going to go back and press developer options and scroll down to USB debugging and turn that on. Press OK when this pops up. And then you're going to go back to the general settings and scroll down to apps and notifications advanced and then special app access then you're going to click install unknown apps and allow that for chrome because you'll have to download whatsapp from chrome not from the app store so now it's time to plug your phone into your laptop and then once this happens just pull your screen down and go to android system and you have to change that setting from USB charging to transfer files. If not, it's not going to work. So now this is back to the laptop portion. You're going to open Android File Transfer. Next, open the file where the chat storage.sqlite is and migrate that to WhatsApp Migrator on your Android in the Android folder. Just make sure you put it in the right photo. If not, it won't work. 
So after this, we're going to go back to the phone and you have to delete WhatsApp off of your phone if you have it on your, your Android phone. So after that's deleted, you're going to open the WhatsApp Migrator app, click select iPhone archive and press yes when this pops up. When the next window pops up, click skip media because we're just doing the text messages. And then you'll be directed to this page and this may take a while to load. So just be patient. It took me a few minutes. But after everything is loaded, this will pop up. Just press OK. And then it'll direct you to the next page. Slide to the next slide. And it's going to tell you that you have to download WhatsApp from the internet. The next slide will have the link. Just press download WhatsApp. You'll be directed to this page. Click download. Once the download is complete, you are ready to activate WhatsApp normally. When asked where do you want to restore the backup from, click local backup, not from Google Drive. I hope this was helpful guys. Please let me know in the comments and like this video.